Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. All right, we'll open up the door. And we're gonna start off by coming up here and removing this cover. You can just put your hands behind it and kind of pull up. And you can see there's a push pin here and a push pin here. And then there's two little uh, hooks that hook into the door panel itself. Around the perimeter of the door panel is six T20 Torx bolts. And they're actually made of plastic uh, which is a little strange, but we'll go all around the door panel and we'll start pulling these out. Being that they're plastic, they're, uh, they don't come out like a normal screw does. You have to be very gentle and almost pull on them as they, as they unscrew. There we go. Right here behind the door panel, is a top secret cover that you can pop off with a flat tip screwdriver. And you can see it, you wanna grab it from the top and go down, and then behind that is a Phillips head screw. So now we will use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the Phillips head screw. For the power window switch, we'll just slide a little screwdriver in here. It pops out super easy and we'll pop up this little red safety pin. There we go. And then you can push the tab down and pull the connector out. So these little anchors here, they need to come out um, of the door panel because we need to lift it up. Well, we just lost one. Now we'll do the upper one. There's the second one. So we'll go all the way around the door and pop those out, and then all we have to do is lift straight up on the door panel, and it should come off. All right. Around the perimeter of this inner plastic door panel, there's about 12 10 millimeter uh, screws or bolts that we want to remove. So we're gonna go ahead and get started using a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Once you get them started, you can probably just pull them out by hand. Here we have the speaker, and you can see there's four five millimeter screws holding it on. So we're gonna go ahead and use a five millimeter socket and an extension, because I love extensions, and a quarter drive ratchet to remove this. All right, now you can pull your speaker out. On the back side of the speaker, you have one connector that you can push down the tab of and pull it right out. And there you are. Now it's completely removed from the door. All right, behind these, this uh, sort of secret door here, you'll find the window regulator. And the window regulator is attached to the glass by this clip. So what you might need to do is attach your, um, your power window switch and adjust your window up or down so that you can get this right here. Um, so you might need to put the key in the ignition and then adjust the window up or down because you want to be able to push this little clip right here and release the glass from the window regulator. And the same thing applies over here in the speaker hole. You want to move the window regulator down until the glass is um, right in front of the speaker hole. All right, the glass is held in on this clip and there's little push tabs here. You can see you can push it in with a flat tip screwdriver. And there's another one on the inside here. And if you put, push both of those up, like so, the glass will be released from the regulator. And you can do this on this rear one and on the front one in the speaker hole. You're probably gonna want a second person to hold the glass up so that it doesn't fall down in the door and either injure you or break the glass. And 
Now we should be able to lift this glass right up. And you can do a couple different things with this. What I like to do is just get some tape and I'll tape the tape to the glass on both sides and up and over the top and that'll hold the glass in place. The other option is to remove some of the trim at the top and you can pull the glass right out of the door. It's a little bit more work, more work than I want to do um, and probably more work than you want to do. So it's best to just get some, some good tape and put a bunch of tape all over the window. Once you have your glass set in place, you can go ahead and remove your power window switch and that way your window reg regulator won't move around unexpectedly and you can pull your key out of your ignition. Now we're going to start removing all of the wires from the uh, plastic panel in here. There's the first one. You can use needle nose pliers to get that. This one, you can use a trim, trim panel tool or you could probably just pull, pull on it. Over here, there's a couple of little tabs that you push down to get these connectors out. See, this is the tab you want to push down. And there's the second one. So now the mirror is disconnected. So now we'll go to this. We'll use our trim tool again. And follow it along. Down here we've got the speaker and this sensor. This also has a push tab on it. Over here, we need the trim panel tool again. All right. Then we need to do the power window motor by pushing the tab on that connector. And then up here, we'll disconnect these two. Actually, it's three connectors at the module by pushing the tabs on those. Up inside this access panel, there's two little clips that attach your door handle and your lock to your door latch. And we need to remove those. They actually function the same exact way as the door handle clip, where you'll just kind of pull it away and you can see it latches right on, just like this. So I'll put it back in to show you how it clips on, just like that and it functions the exact same way. So we're gonna do that up inside the door. Next, we're going to use a T30 Torx bit to remove the door latch from the door. Once you crack these loose, you can probably just, yeah, you can spin them out by hand fairly easily. All right, now you should be able to pull the door panel away, away from the door. There we go. And drop, drop it down behind this harness. You can keep it, you'll keep it all connected to the car, but you can pull it out just like that. On the top of your door latch is a connector for your door lock actuator, and you need to push the red uh, tab back, that's the safety, and then pull on it to disconnect it from the actuator. And then over here, on the front of the door panel, you gotta pull this rubber grommet through. And then you'll have it completely separate from the truck. The door handle is right here, and we're gonna start by removing these two clips that hold the rods in place. So there's the first one. And then we'll do this pink one right here, hopefully. All right, there's the second one. Now we have three eight millimeter screws, or bolts, whatever you wanna call them. And we'll remove them with an eight millimeter socket. You want to support the handle from either the inside or the outside so it doesn't fall. And at this point, we should be able to ever so gently slide it off the truck. All 
There we are. The door lock cylinder comes out extremely easily. Once you have those two bolts out of the handle, it just slides right out. And of course, slides right back in. All right, now to get it in, I've kind of loosened the lock cylinder so I can slide that through the hole first. And now, I'll get the clips in. And hopefully get it in just like this. Okay, now it's back on the truck. Now we can start putting the screws back in. Start with that one. You don't want to tighten these too much because it is easy to snap them off and handle. So just make them snug and you should be okay. And we're gonna slide these right back in. We actually put some marks on the top so we would know which one, uh, which way is up rather than putting them in upside down. So we just put a little marker on the top. So we'll do the pink one first. And now we'll do this one with the black clip. So we have to get this door lock actuator wire through the door panel. So we'll feed this through. It should go behind this cable, behind the window regulator itself, and then behind this bracket. Right here you have a clip that you can snap into place. And then right here's another clip. And then over here at the actuator, we can plug in the connector and snap the safety in. That way it won't fall out when you're installing the door. There's also this rubber grommet in the door panel that we're gonna wanna push into place. All right, okay. Now with the front of this plastic panel downward, we're gonna slide this in. And then we're gonna lift up on the front of the panel, tucking it in behind all the wires. Now we're gonna put these three torque screws back in to the latch. I like to get all three in loose before we tighten them up. It's tough to see, but behind here I'm reinstalling the um, the door handle rod and the lock rod into the door latch. Okay, now we can start putting all of the wires back in place. We'll snap the power window motor connector back in. And we'll feed these wires up here. We've got the blue one right here. And I believe purple's on top and then white. Down here by the speaker, we can feed these through. And then we have this one at the bottom that plugs in right here. Up, up here we have the mirror wiring. It snaps in right there and then right here. And then it plugs into the module. Now we're gonna slide the glass down into the door and we're gonna snap it into the window regulator. But to do that, we need to remove all this tape that I have holding the window. All right, be ready for the glass to drop when you do the last piece of tape. 
maybe have a friend hold it. Okay, and then we can slide the glass back down into the door very gently until it reaches the window regulator right down here. And you can see it and hear it snap right into place. You wanna make sure this side is latched and you wanna come over here in your speaker hole and make sure, make sure that this side is latched as well. We'll plug the speaker back in right here. It's nice because the speaker has these two little tabs on the bottom that hold it in place. And I'll get all the bolts started before I actually tighten anything. Now we'll tighten these up with a five millimeter uh, socket and ratchet. Now we'll reinstall this little access panel cover. And then we can start putting the 12 10 millimeter bolts all the way back around this plastic panel. You want to get them all in first. Um, to make sure it's all aligned, and then you start tightening them up. All right, so to put the door panel back on, we're gonna slide this lock up through the hole, and then we're gonna feed the power window wires, power window uh, switch wires, through this. And then kind of drop it down onto the door panel. Now we'll plug in the window switch, and drop it right into the door panel. We're now gonna slide the door handle bezel behind, doing the rear section first, and then snapping it into place. And then there's a large Phillips head screw that will slide right through here and screw in. And then there's the little access panel that will also slide in doing the bottom first. And that also just snaps right in. And we're now at the point where we can put these door panel screws back in. And they go in just like this. Looks like I'm gonna probably have to hold the bottom piece to get it to screw in. And we'll do this all the way around the door. And lastly, we'll put this right back on to cover up the mirror bolts. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.